So today I attempt to answer an age-old question. Can you run a successful pizzeria without buying a single thing? Well, it may not be age-old to you, but I've been thinking about it ever since I started playing Plate Up. I decided to choose myself a tiny restaurant and select pizza as my dish. I'm thinking pizza may be quite easy for this, as I can cook four meals at a time instead of one. Without knowing what I'm putting myself in for, we start the run. Days one and two are very hectic, but I managed to get into the swing of things. I have a single table right next to the kitchen, and I'm able to serve my customers all the margarita they could possibly desire. On day three though, I decide that going all the way to that end of the kitchen is far too much work. Why not invite the customer into the kitchen with me? So that's what I do. I put the customer right in the middle of the room. This turns out to be slightly impractical, surprisingly. So when I get individual dining at the end of day three, I decide to move it against the wall. Even as late as day four, I am calling in people to arrive early for the extra gold that will go nowhere. I do end up with a queue outside at the end of the day, but it's not unmanageable and I keep moving on. Day five goes very similar, although I do find myself getting very fond of my kitchen. So before day six starts, I lock myself in here never to leave again. Better not make any mistakes though, as I left the bin outside. My new snake-like kitchen setup works really well on day six, with it becoming much easier to get the pizzas to the customers and the dirty plates away from them. Remember, I can't buy anything, including extra plates, so I need to wash them if people are going to eat. I easily complete day six and get rewarded with a sedate atmosphere. Thankfully, the guests are technically in another room, so I am unaffected and they can watch the chaos in the kitchen as I run around screaming, hurling pizzas into ovens on day seven. Day eight continues that chaos before I have a quick reorganize on day eight, completely cutting me off from more than half my kitchen. I thought I had a bit too much space. Day nine is when the pinch really starts, with a pretty much constant queue outside as the customers start to pile up. Thankfully, no new recipes and individual dining means the table clear is very easy, and I managed to get through day nine despite the queues. My reward for getting so far is either ice cream, uh, no, or a relaxed atmosphere. So now my restaurant officially is sedate and relaxed, even though you spend your entire meal staring at a red man in a chef hat punching dough like there's no tomorrow. Day 10 goes by fine, although the messiness does spread into the kitchen a few times, and we get stuck a few times while serving the dishes. Thankfully, I do have a sink nearby, and I seem to have forgotten how to wash dishes correctly with this new relaxed atmosphere. Therefore, I fling suds in literally every direction. The customers don't seem to mind the suds though, as even more turn up on day 11, and my coinage surpasses 700. At the end of all this, I'm going to be one rich, exhausted pizzeria owner. Before day 12 truly kicks in though, I decide to give myself just a little more space, you know. I think I've deserved it, but not too much. I don't want to give myself any ideas. At this point, there is a constant queue and it's raining, which does nothing good for my stress levels. As the restaurant closes, we have two people waiting outside for the first time, and I managed to serve them cold pizza that's been on the side for a while before they get too damp. And if the mess already wasn't bad enough, my final reward this playthrough is Splash Zone. Time to throw pizza, suds, and whatever that brown stuff is all across the restaurant. Nothing says a relaxed, sedate atmosphere like flying pieces of mozzarella. So we're into the final stretch and day 13 is also rainy, meaning I have to be on top form to get the pizzas onto the table in time and the dishes clean. By this point, I've learned a neat little trick though for this run. I only need one plate. In the time it takes for a customer to sit down and order, I can wash the solitary plate, slap a slice of pizza on it, and place it back down in front of them. Who needs four plates? In fact, I think I have too many items. Day 14 sees an impressive milestone, a thousand gold. Turns out, not buying anything and working yourself to the bone every single day really does pay. I continue throwing pizza at yellow blobs and the plate gets its fair share of use. I really feel like I'm getting into the swing of this by now. Bring on day 15. Day 15 will bring 24 customers, which means six pizzas and that one solitary plate. Here goes nothing. I've decided to just show you the full final day and how chaotic it was, but at five times speed. Enjoy.
So, it is possible to franchise in Plate Up without buying anything. It's very difficult and stressful, but it is possible. I debated carrying on into overtime, but my red chef hat wearing friend has been through enough and just needs a lie down. Just like me. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and do subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future.